We good so far? Okay. Let's talk about the phones a little bit. NEC, when they designed this system, did something unusual and I think very beneficial. You see what looks like a whole lot of phones there. And it's true. You could have phones that look like any one of those. The reality of it is there's really only three. Okay? There's that phone there that's down at the table, which which is what I'll call, you know, an inexpensive phone or, or very basic model. It's got a display, it's got buttons, you can have multiple calls and so forth, but you know, an inexpensive phone or the least expensive phone. You could have a expensive phone <laughs> that looks like this that's got a big display on it and it's color and it's touch screen so that if I touch on the various buttons it gives me access to features or transfer or speed dials or any number of things. Okay. Everything else there is built off of this phone right here. This phone comes apart in about six pieces for a variety of reasons. It has 12 buttons on it right now that are lamps and features and allows you to take multiple calls. If at any point in time I needed more buttons on this phone, this plate comes off there's a module that can snap in there to give me 12 more buttons. I don't need to buy another phone. I just buy a little piece that goes inside. Okay? If the display malfunctioned, I can take the display off and replace it. I don't have to replace the whole phone or send the whole phone out for repair. Okay? If this dial pad went bad, Again, that can come out. A new one can go in. I don't have to replace the phone. I don't have to send the whole phone out for repair. Okay? This is a typical handset with a cord. This side piece can come off, and there's a cordless handset available for this phone so that I could walk around and use this phone without being tied to a 12-foot cord, okay? It won't allow you to go through the whole building, but it'll allow you to, to go a fair distance from the phone with a cordless How far is a fair answer. distance? I'm sorry? How far is a fair distance? I'd say roughly 100 feet or so, depending on the nature of the building, right? If, if, if the building has granite walls, it's not going to go quite as far. If it has steel walls or thick walls, it's not going to go quite as far. But it allows you to walk around without being stuck to this. Okay? We, as I said way back, sell about 12 brands of equipment. <coughs> NEC is the only manufacturer I know of that makes a phone like that. Keeps the cost of maintaining it down. It's flexible so that if you have different needs that you don't have to buy a new phone to accommodate that, you can add a piece that's inexpensive to accommodate the new need. Okay? This is just kind of a depiction of what I mentioned. You know, I can replace all these piece parts or add on to that phone in any way that I need to. Okay? So, a lot of flexibility. 
I can't run my cell phone. And I've noticed. <laughs> okay, we're almost at the end. We have a lot of customers, from very small to very large. Some of them choose to be very self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Others say, Peter, you guys are great. I like your techs. I'm going to give you a check for the system. When I want something done, I'll call you guys. You'll come do it. You'll send me a bill. Others say, I've got a good staff here with some training. They could learn how to do this programming. I would like to be as self-sufficient as we can be. Not a problem. Whatever you choose to do, we're fine with that. We have no desire to withhold the keys to the kingdom. If Jason or some of his people wanted to learn about programming the system so that they could do some things on their own and not have to call us to do that and incur the expense, there's a simple piece of software that comes with the system that can be loaded on any PC that would allow them to program the system and it's very simple to use. It's all of, you can't see it very well here, but all of the icons are in simple English. It's not, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to use this. Do it you mean I don't have to push a button to tell me what language I want to use it in? That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> so, we have lots of customers. Some of them <coughs> use this quite a bit. Some say, no, I'm, I can't be bothered. I'll call you, you guys do it, send me a bill. But it's there. And as part of the installation cost, we do provide some simple training on how to use this, if you wish to do that. Have you gone with this new system with any of your other customers? Yes. Within, you know, within a year or so? Yeah. Have you found out, as, as, as it had with all of the features, the new features, etc., has it had any effect on their phone bills? No, I wouldn't say so. I mean, they still make the same types of calls. The only thing that may have a beneficial impact, you know, I showed you some of these optional things where you could see the icons, is somebody on the phone, off the phone, in a meeting, out of the meeting. In some cases that can cut down on callbacks to whoever was calling in and if that happened to be long distance then... Uh, it seems to me that with all of the features and everything going back and forth through computers and everything else and that you have an open line almost the, the entire... It, it, every minute of every day it, 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 and to me it, it seems that that would have uh, a rather adverse effect on a phone bill I don't know do you have you talked to any of the customers to see if they've had there's any changes I, I would respectfully say that this doesn't change your call traffic of any significant amount the people that want to call you are going to the people you need to call, you're going to call. Um, if you have some of the options, you may not need to make as many calls back um, to people that have called in. Um, so, but I don't think that's a big impact one way or the other. Hey, but have, you, my, have you actually talked to any of your other customers to, to find out? To say, did your phone bills if, go if, up or down? No, I, I'd no. say, no, I haven't. To, to answer specifically, no, I have not. So, basically, we're really at the end here. Training. I mean, this, this is not, <coughs> not terribly different than what you have in terms of how it's used. But when we put the system in, we do provide training for you know, in, in a classroom format, on-site, for f 
small groups of people at a time, four or five people at a time, to say, you know, <coughs> here's the new phone, here's what it looks <coughs> like, here's how it's programmed, here's how it works, here's how, how you get to your voicemail, here's the features that are available, so that you can get the most use out of the new phone. And the <coughs> training is done on, on site, not by conference call. Correct. Yes. You would just need, Jason would just need to provide us with a conference room or some place where we could put four or five phones out and people can sit down and it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to run through everything. One system, but I like the system, but I have no idea what the other one's doing. Why don't you have Jason set somebody up? Somebody, 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 yeah, could you do that? You mm -hmm. can talk intelligently about yeah. that. Same type of presentation, Jason? Yes. I had I contacted the other vendor. They were in uh, last Monday to do a preliminary to yeah. see what we have. Yeah. Uh, and then he could not make it today because he had prior uh, commitments. Uh, but he is more than willing to come back and do a presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Ma'am? Yes. Representative Wiley. Representative Babson, thank you. I wonder if we could get a printed copy of your presentation yes, just sir. for the record so that we can yeah. send that to Representative Babson then the sure. if questions come up after the notes or if you like I can I can email that right to you, Jason. Okay. Thank sure. you. And, uh, that would be not a problem. Um, we covered a lot. You know, I gave Jason some preliminary quotes, <coughs> making certain assumptions, meaning, you know, whether or not you would choose to use some of these options or not. So as you get closer and have discussions and, and finalize what, what it is you want the final configuration to be, then obviously I'll revise that pricing accordingly. And as I said earlier, multiple times, I've been doing this a long time, so I knew that this would be a budget price. As I told Jason when I first gave him those prices, this is a budget price, and I'm telling you, I'm leaving a little room here because I know that if I grind this down to the nickel and you make some changes that cost more, that doesn't benefit you. So when you get to your final desired configuration, then I'll, I'll give you my absolute best and final price. And it's not going to be radically different than what I've quoted already, but it may be a little bit better. Well, thank you very much, you. Peter. We certainly appreciate it. Okay. Jason, do you have anything else you want to discuss this morning? Uh, we were scheduled to go over and look around at the facility, wanted to just walk, walk the perimeter in the non-public session. 